What is up with these skinheads coming to you guys' shows? they were they dressed a certain way yeah they looked a certain way they would zig heil in the yeah. back yeah. You, you know and and it was it was fucked <laughs> but you're just trying to stay out of their way, you know. Kind of um, just mind your P's and Q's. Yeah, there was a lot of lot of gangs back in the day, you know, and you just kind of, you know, knew where not to step. Back then, there was a lot of skinheads. It wasn't just a couple or a half dozen. There was like a hundred or 150 at a show, and it was fucking scary. Spring played at the Gig in a Thai restaurant, part of a benefit show against nuclear arms. Flyers explicitly state no Nazis were allowed, but Nazi skinheads showed up determined to get in. Did you get stabbed by a skinhead before you were in Offspring? No, I would, while we were in the Offspring. Was that, we play, were playing a show that night, actually. Wow. Yeah, with um, Final Conflict was headlining. I know Bulimia Banquet was on the, on the bill. There was like five bands, and we were right in the middle. Bugs inside block their entrance and a fight started. Amongst the chaos, noodles, the guitarist bravely confronted the Nazis, but he got stabbed. I think they were just starting shit. They were just running around yeah. starting trouble. And I saw this fight happening. So I walk up and there's this one guy. He's already got his arm busted. He's trying to hold a table up against the door. I walk up and push the table back up against the door. And then somebody, I thought, hit me with something. I, th- I felt like I got hit with like a club or a pipe yeah. or something. And I just hold up my hands. I go, it's over. It's over. And the guy jumped back and then they all ran away. And then I take my leather. Unfortunately, I had a leather jacket on. I take my leather jacket off and I can just see my white t-shirt was all red just oh, you know, bleeding but wow. it, it, but it was just you know he missed all the good parts yeah. you know it was yeah, yeah. It, it was just a flesh wound and and i got stitches and and it was fine in their bullshit macho attitudes to these shows try to wreck them by starting fights spreading around their bullshit racist attitudes if you really like the swastika so much go join the clan like your parents if you're no different from your parents then what are you rebelling against anyway you're fitting in Nazi redneck assholes, fuck off. Aggression, the aggression, yeah. I think they, they yeah. don't they don't see beyond that, you know, and so that's what it, it, it did draw violent people.
By the time Gilman started, there also was a skinhead violence problem in the scene. At first, it was just San Francisco. And the difference between this and what came earlier, just with slam dancers who were a little too happy with their fists and whatnot, was now they had a look and now they had an ideology. I have to say it's not unique to San Francisco or the Bay Area, the skinhead thing at the time. That was everywhere, but it was very bad there. We started messing with the punk rock scene, picked on the Gilman Street scene, because that was a younger scene. I remember when the skinheads came. Just get a bunch of bats and put it in the sound booth. So I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. This is not for all skinheads. This is for Nazi bag bashing skinheads. MDC was playing, and it was when the song Skinhead came out. And skinheads were pissed off, and they're like, we're going to, you know, we're going to beat the shit out of Dave Dichter. It's cost you so stupid. Change is like the gang gang gang. I, because you're an idiot, and, and you're a nothing too. They didn't like that song. Hate is cost me Fuck these dicks. And it's like, it's just like fucking kick their ass. And all these people from Gilman, they've got baseball bats, they've got stools, they've got change, and they're beating the shit out of these skinheads. At some point, there are enough people outside that the Nazis started to run, and they split in a lot of different directions, but some of them got in that red truck. Everyone at Gilman is like banging, like knocking out the lights of the truck, putting dents in this very nice new truck, and they went fuck all back to Concord or wherever the hell they came from, and they never came again. You know, you feel better about yourself in the long run, you know, having standing up for punk rock and speaking truth to power. Fuck off! 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 Fuck